of Duty Infinite Warfare M2187 Weapon Review. Anyway, the M Model 2187 shotguns are, let's say, a remaster or um, Infinite Warfare's version of the good old Model 18, somewhere or another from uh, Modern Warfare, uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, 3, or 4, somewhere like that. Somewhere in the modern era. Anyway, um, these shotguns are pretty good in Infinite Warfare, especially with the whole exo slides and whatnot. Uh, other than that, the history of the old timey ones in um, Modern Warfare is, well, once upon a time, with the Kimbo, those things were absolutely overpowered. They were the original sniper shotguns. Pull both triggers and you can snipe people across the map with those shotguns. Then they got nerfed. They're still okay. And then we have the M2187 of today, where you can pile on attachments even from sites that you won't really use like I have Trojan sites on these even though I'm not gonna use them I just use it for the stats of a little bit of extra range like I'm gonna try to get as much range as I can out of this thing no matter what uh, so about that uh, the rate of fire on this thing is pretty slow uh, when it comes to a single use like it's basically like back in the day when you have the single version. It's not great at all You can use it, but it's not that great and then when you get that Kimbo Yeah, you can go do crazy stuff In fact, you can actually time it and make it look like you're using the Hellfire shotguns from overwatch uh, Reaper character uh, Anyway back to Call of Duty um, How do you get these things is you got to get um, okay, you got to get 10 kills with a Kimbo weapons, and uh, you have to do that in 15 matches, like, uh, first match, 10 kills, second match, 10 kills with the Kimbo weapons, aka mostly pistols. I've tried to test the, about the specialists, uh, specialists, I mean, rigs, um, with Synaptic, his, uh, good old equalizer is dual wield. I'm not sure if it counts though. And the same with the weapons like the RVN or the Type 2. I think the RVN won't really do since it's a melee weapon. While the Type 2, I'm not sure if it registers it as a Kimbo, like you might actually need the Akimbo attachment. And as for variants that have a Kimbo, I think Twin Sanity uh, with the SMGs and the LMGs <laughs> Uh, I think those are uh, might be uh, might actually count, but I the way I went about it to get this is actually I got some good old um, pistols, put an auto sear on there, laser sight, and a Kimbo, and just went ahead and just close quarter combat in the new Teresa 24/7. Um, too bad it's not going to be the Teresa 24/7. It's not going to be on for quite some time. But hey, it's quite the easy, easiest way to do it because most of the action is going to be in this little building slash camper spot, um, making it very close quarter and make it very shotgun friendly or dual wield friendly. Uh, other than that, these shotguns are pretty crazy when you get dual wield. It's quite the gr uh, quite the grind to get them, and not too much of a problem to actually uh, get to the Kimbo attachment and uh, I'd say they're very good with um, actually they're actually pretty good with active camo the wall hack and just about everything on synaptic and everything on the FTL um, other than that these shotguns are pretty good and I'd say there might be a pretty also reliable secondary for your good old sniper class well, anyway, smack that like button, hit the sub, drop the comment, and I'll see you guys later for another video on the channel. I am out of here.